Now let's take a look at the disassembly of the ROC GP engine. Firstly, we're going to start with the head, with the six nuts and the 10 millimeter wrench or socket. Remove the head and the washers. And take the two O-rings out. Now we are going to unfasten the four cylinder base screws. paying attention to the gasket as we go. We are now going to disassemble the exhaust power valve unit. Using a 3mm wrench, unfasten the four bolts of the cover. Holding the cover as inside there is the first of the push springs. Helping ourselves along with a screwdriver and being careful not to ruin the bellow, we are going to unhook the spring. Then with a 10 mm wrench, we unfasten the small piston and the two screws of the housing. At this point we have already unfastened the guillotine, where inside the second of the push springs are located. Also the contact o-ring, the bellow, and the final push spring. Let's now continue by removing the piston with a screwdriver. I'll insert it in the piston's crevice and remove the ring Faccio uscire l'anellino. The cage, the rod, and the piston. After that we can disassemble the exhaust power valve unit with the two button head screws of the exhaust manifold and with a 4mm wrench collettore di aspirazione The four conveyor screws del quattro viti del convogliatore Let's now continue with the clutch. Firstly the key. Then the outer washer, the clutch bell, the cage and the inner washer. After this, we unfasten the three screws of the clutch rotor.
Now to unfasten the clutch rotor itself. We're going to help ourselves out with the wrench that locks the gear in place and with this 30 mm lathed socket wrench so that it can fit between the nut and the clutch rotor. Remember that the nut is left. Consequently, we have to rotate clockwise to unfasten it. The clutch extractor. We are going to tighten it well and then with the other 17mm wrench we unfasten the rotor. We unfasten the Bendix cover with the two 5mm screws and remove the clutch rotor. Remembering to then remove the key. Let's now move to disassemble the ignition rotor with the wrench and a 19mm socket wrench. Finally, we use the extractor for the ignition and two 19mm wrenches. Always remembering to remove the ignition key as we go. We can leave the stator assembled on top of the cover, so we do not have to restore the stroke when we are going to reassemble the engine. Now we are going to remove the screws which close the gear's cover. paying close attention to the gasket. A 
Next, we will remove the two gears, taking away the balance shaft. And the crankshaft Sega rings. We are going to remove the gear using a minimal leverage action so as we don't damage it. There are two disc springs and a steel shim ring. After that, we remove the washer and using the extractor, we will remove the gear adjacent to the crankshaft. using two 19 mm wrenches. Then we recover the shim ring and the disc spring. Once we have reached this point, we are ready to unscrew all the crankcase screws and then completely open the engine up. Now, with the help of a mallet, we are going to open the crankcase. And slide out the balance shaft. And finally, the crankshaft. And with this last step, we have completed our disassembly.